Good afternoon followers and everyone else watching this movie this afternoon. We're offshore Beachport, South Australia on board the Haley Marie Conquest 53 listed with Oceaneer Marine Brokers for sale asking $375,000 plus GST. I'm here with uh, sales executive Lachlan Boyd. My name's Matt Lovelady. I'm here with owners and uh, chief deckhand as we uh, put this vessel to the test and show you all what it's like out here on the water on this fine afternoon offshore Beachport, South Australia. Uh, John, if you want to bring us up to cruise speed, mate. And like if you want to let us know what uh, RPM and speed we're cruising at. RPM there. We're climbing to uh, about 11 knots. Conquest 53 is certainly a nice beamy 53 footer in which uh, it's got to be out of the 55 mould, do you reckon, Steve? Yeah, it is. It is not sure. Alright, so 1500 RPM there, we sat on 12, 12 knots. Beauty. So um, we're just heading off um, Beachport, cruising about 12 to 14 knots there. We're powered by a single Volvo 165P. Been really well maintained. As you can see, she presents lovely. West Australian built boat. It would have come out of Sea Chrome Marine Factory, based at Rouse Head back in the day. Rouse Head North Fremantle. And she's been uh, working out off the coast of South Australia for some years. The Volvo 165. It's got a roughly 11,000 hours on the clock. As we pick it up, she's got a lovely note. What's that speed there, Lockie? Just climbing up to about 15 knots. At uh, 1700. 1700 RPM. She's looking like she's going pretty good for 15 knots, Lockie. I reckon she's picking up from that. But, um, take your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> and now uh, you're reading off the Maxi what are they, Lockie? Um, I'm reading off the Fruno GPS. Right, we've got a Fruno GP32 back up there, but uh, the main plotter system is a Max C Time Zero system, and I believe there's a backup 3 and 1 Simrad that Jonty runs his radar off. Is that correct, Jonty? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Radar's a Fruno. Righto. Secondary Fruno radar also. Beautiful. She's coming along nicely now, John. Here they were beating into a what? Is it roughly a two metre sea, two metre swell rather? Yeah. Yeah. Conquest's vessel is a nice, softy, riding, fiberglass built fishing vessel. We've got to be cruising it. We're 16, at, uh, 17. 16 and a half now. Yeah, lovely. Coming around the point here, Beachport. As you see the port side of the vessel with splash guard. These gents run a starboard side operation. The helm and tipper located on the starboard side. We've got three stations steering. Two. Two station, not one out of the back there, sorry. Correction. No. Uh, one upstairs, three station, eh? Oh, uh, righto. Two station steering correction there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you can see there on the about midships, just a, just forward of midship, or right on midships of the live tank, either side of the engine hatch, which we carry a few baskets, Lockie. That's right. How many baskets do you carry here, There's uh, eight, eight of those double baskets in there. There's eight of me, 16. 16. 16 bars, 16 old tolls. 30. 
Brawnies. We've got a Ogre Panther Ranton Premium. We've got the main switched off. Yep. And you've also got a, a, a clutch water pump as well that we can pump in there. Fantastic. Extensive uh, live tank set up there to keep the product live, whether it be rock lobster or crabs, or if you want to configure your own setup and fit it with refrigeration, some of the boys down in Tasmania and New Zealand specking these fishing vessels for any operation ranging from abalone, aquaculture activities, etc. If you want to um, get us in a nice... Ah, uh, that's it. Fuck, we out of range? That gimbal having a moment. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Give us a call at Oceania Marine Brokers. We'll be happily uh, to answer any questions regarding this 53. Gimbal looks like it's uh, given up for the afternoon. But um, we'll uh, get back to you with any updated specifications. And um, we're going to get some further data of this lovely Conquest 53 advertised for sale. Well, the gimbal's hanging in there. Getting a few alarms from the DJI app. I have to check in with the boys at Elkfish Electronics in Fremantle about that. Um, but uh, while it's hanging in there, John, do you want to give us a full tilt? Yeah. Wide open throttle steam. Just come a little bit lower, hopefully it's hanging in there. Speed check please, Lockie. We are sitting on 18 and a half knots, climbing. We're sitting on 18 and a half 2000 knots, RPM. 2,000 RPM. She has been sitting on a mooring out the front of here at Beachport, I'm South Australia. Knots. She's climbing up there. It's probably bit of fluff dusting off. It's looking great though. Well done. Credit to the boys prepping her for this sail shoot. Feel free to send us an email, sales at oceaneermarine.com.au or give us a call 089 243 We look forward to speaking with you.